Today we are going to work on subtracting some whole numbers. And I've seen subtraction problems sometimes written horizontally or vertically, but my favorite way to write subtraction problems is vertically, straight up and down. This is because I want to subtract one place value at a time. All right, so in our example problem, we have 729 minus 57. I'm going to start over here on the right side and subtract just one place value at a time. So I'm going to look at the 7 and a 9, subtract those. 7, 9 minus 7 equals 2. Perfect. All right, once I'm finished, I move on to the next place value and do the same process. 2 minus 5. Hmm. That's a problem. Every once in a while, when I go to subtract, the top number may actually be smaller. It's okay, we're not out of luck. We're going to go ahead to the 7 and borrow one of its numbers. So I'm going to reduce the 7 to 6 and give that 1 to the 2. Now when I look at this column, it looks like 12 minus 5. Perfect. Now my top number is larger than the bottom one. So 12 minus 5 gives us a 7. All right, we're on a roll. On to the last col column, I have 6 minus, uh oh, now it looks like I'm missing a number. Well, if you're missing a number in the column, that's okay. Just treat it as a 0. So 6 minus 0, 6. And there you have it. We're done. Our final answer is 672. If you'd like some more videos, please visit MySecretMathTutor.com.